Hi, this is Nicole, and you're watching the Landmark Implement Virtual Planner Clinic 2021 video series. Today we're going to talk about John Deere Connect Mobile. So Connect Mobile is a free app offered by John Deere that provides real-time data that offers deeper insight into planting, spraying, and harvest operations, and it utilizes components that many operators already have integrated into their equipment. So it uses an Apple iPad tablet in the cab to help the operator monitor job quality during those operations. Uh, and it offers multiple quality layers, uh, several of which are not available on the Green Star 3 2630 or on the Gen 4 4600 or 4640 displays. The app also offers a split screen view that allows users to compare two quality layers at once in every operation. And it displays edge of pass and direction of travel indicators that make it easier to understand how the field has been driven. So some of the data layers that are available in Connect Mobile for planting our actual population. Uh, the actual population is plotted on a row by row basis in Connect Mobile on the map and it can reflect the singulation performance of the seed meters, vacuum level, and other planner settings. Target population is shown in thousands of seeds per acre on the dashboard. That is an average value that's shown if multiple rates are being planted at the same time across the planner. Uh, the target population is plotted by sections on the iPad tablet with up to four target rates or sections that can be shown across the width of the planner. The number of those sections depends on the planner size, configuration, and your SeedStar monitoring hardware. The singulation dashboard is measured as a percentage with 100% indicating perfect singulation by the seed meters. Uh, when skips and multiples occur, the singulation percentage is reduced. The singulation map is shown on a row by row basis, displaying the singulation performance of each row as a percentage while planting through the field. Seed spacing coefficient of variation is the measurement of how uniform and consistent the spacing between seeds are as they're delivered to the seed trench. So a lower numerical value represents more uniform and consistent seed spacing in the seed trench, whereas a higher number indicates inconsistent spacing between seeds. Seed spacing coefficient of variation is also shown as a row by row map layer on the iPad. Seed spacing CV can be influenced by several different factors including your singulation, ground speed, and your ride quality. So ride quality is shown on the dashboard as an average value of the row units that are equipped with ride quality sensors. And then each row unit that has a sensor on it uh, is mapped in the app. So that can be three, five, or seven sensors depending on the planner model and your configuration. Ride quality can be impacted by ground speed, field conditions, and improperly applied downforce and gauge wheel margin. Poor ride quality can negatively impact singulation and seed spacing coefficient of variation on your planner. Applied downforce is the pounds of force exerted to the row units through the airbags or through your hydraulic actuators on your planner's downforce system. Each section or row by row average of applied downforce across the planner is what's going to show over in the dashboard and can be shown as a map layer. Applied downforce can be used to help determine soil compaction as well. So areas of higher applied downforce throughout the field can correlate to more compacted soil conditions within that area. Gauge wheel margin is the additional or surplus force in pounds that's applied to the row units through your downforce system on the planner. Uh, the correct amount of gauge wheel margin force is what keeps your gauge wheels in contact with the ground and the true V openers running at the proper depth. Too little margin, so a lower value, can result in inconsistent seed depth and poor seed to soil contact can occur. Both conditions can lead to uneven emergence of your crop. Too much gauge wheel margin, uh, so a higher numerical value, can cause sidewall compaction in the seed trench and can negatively impact emergence and root growth. Your gauge wheel margin can be adjusted uh, for single or dual sections, depending on the model and configuration of your planner. The gauge wheel margin is displayed as an average across the row units that are equipped with a downforce sensor over on your dashboard here. Each row unit equipped with the downforce sensor is plotted on a map in three, five, or seven sections, kind of like we mentioned before. If you've got a pneumatic downforce system or if you have individual row hydraulic downforce, it'll be a row by row mapping. Um, your applied downforce and ground speed can affect your gauge wheel margin exerted to the row units of your planner. Planners that are equipped with max emerge or with exact emerge row units and max emerge 5e e row units will map ground speed on a row by row basis to support the curve compensation functionality on those planner models. If your planner is equipped with max emerge 5 or older, 
row units, uh, your ground speed will just be mapped as a single section across the entire width of the planner. Uh, and then Connect Mobile documents variety on a row by row basis and it can support planting up to six different varieties at the same time. So those are all of your uh, quality map layers that are available in the Connect Mobile app. In the app there's also some planner quality parameters that you can set. So you can set thresholds for quality layers uh, and get alerts when those are exceeded. So there we can see our threshold setting. You can also choose a distance that a row will can be out of that range before triggering, triggering an alert. And then if any individual row falls out of range in that distance, an alert will display to notify you of that. So this is some of the technology um, and the planners that are compatible with Connect Mobile. So Connect Mobile is factory installed on all model year 15 and newer planners that have exact emerge row units and all model year 17 and newer planners that are factory installed with max emerge 5e row units. Your green star 3, 26, 30 display and the Gen 4, 4600 and 4640s are the only displays that are compatible and those will require at least the 17-2 software on them. Um, for your Gen 4s, so the 4600 Command Center and your 4640 Universal, uh, you're going to need a premium activation or the subscription in terms of the 4640 in order to use Connect Mobile. And then the Connect Mobile server app just needs to be installed on the 4600 for it to function. The only receivers that are compatible with Connect Mobile are Starfire 3000 and Starfire 6000 receivers, so no older receivers or third-party receivers are compatible, and those have to be updated to at least the 17-1 software bundle. And then in terms of other components, Connect Mobile requires a wireless data server. These are retrofitable to most planners, so the combine and sprayer Connect Mobile um, is integrated into the 4600 display but for planners they, ha they actually have to have it installed on the planner so if you do not have one on your planner talk to your local CTS to see what you're going to need in order to do that then here's a list of compatible iPads so some of the newer versions of iPads uh, it also recommends that it has cellular capabilities and 32 gig or more of storage capacity that cellular data plan is recommended because it's used to stream your data to the operations center uh, it helps provide the aerial imagery for your background map on Connect Mobile, and it can make the process of updating your app and your wireless data server software a little bit easier. So Connect Mobile does have a few connections to the operations center as well. So if third-party layers are available in Field Analyzer, they can also be seen in Connect Mobile. Your active boundaries are shown in Connect Mobile for a better understanding of your work progress. Uh, as that real-time data is showing up across the screen and for making sure the entire field gets covered. And then previously documented operational layers are also viewable in Connect Mobile while, while performing the current operation. So you can see here in this bottom picture those are overlaid over on the left with what's currently being uh, completed in field. And then these are the layers that can be downloaded from the operations center. You, so you can see you can download actual rate and variety um, for planting layers from the operations center. So that's our overview on John Deere Connect Mobile. Thanks for watching and please check out our other virtual planner clinic videos.